This process sees the installation of the subsea cable between two wind turbines. The installation is normally in two stages, the first being the cable install, the second being burial. The cable install for an interarray such as here begins with the barge positioning itself near to the wind turbine foundation. A small ROV such as the Predator will recover the messenger line from the J-tube to the barge. A heavier pulling line is then sent through the J-tube to connect to the cable on board. Often a brush is sent through first to clear any debris away. Once the pulling line arrives on board the barge, the connection is broken and the pulling line connected to the cable end. The cable end is then passed out of the chute here and the pulling line is recovered up through the wind turbine foundation via the J-tube. When the cable reaches the desired length, the pulling operation is stopped and the cable clamped off temporarily at the top of the J-tube. Once the cable is secure, the barge moves away towards the other wind turbine foundation, laying cable on the seabed as it goes. The barge maneuvers in such a way, laying the cable in an S-bend, allowing enough surplus for the eventual pull from the second foundation. On arrival at the next turbine foundation, the entire process of connecting the cable via a pulling line from the J-tube is repeated in the exact same way as that carried out for the substation J-tube operation. Now that both ends of the cable are in place and securely attached, a larger work-class ROV, such as the Excalibur, is deployed to bury the cable into the seabed. On board the Excalibur, all systems are checked and the tracking system is zeroed to the environmental conditions it finds in the area. This is done by the ROV extending its TSS array and calibrating away from the cable. Next, the Excalibur will move into position astride the cable before commencing burial operations. In depths such as this, the ROV will use subsea pumps on board to assist in the burial, though for shallower water, other solutions are available. The ROV begins burial back towards the initial foundation before traveling along the cable in the opposite direction toward the next J-tube. The ROV will finish trenching close to the J-tube and then make a measurement run along the cable to confirm its depth. Once the cable burial is complete, the ROV will move on to the next interarray cable and the process is repeated until all cables infield are buried.